A slipway dry dock is a type of dry dock that uses a slipway, a sloped, paved surface, to haul ships out of the water. Unlike traditional dry decks that are built as a basin or structure, slipway dry decks use a sliding mechanism to move vessels out of the water and onto land. The slipway is typically made of concrete or steel and is inclined directly into the water. Ships are brought in by tugs or other vessels and positioned at the top of the slipway. Once in position, large winches or hydraulic systems are used to pull the ship up the slipway, gradually hauling it out of the water and onto land. Slipway dry decks are often used for smaller vessels such as fishing boats, yachts, or smaller commercial ships. They are cost-effective compared to traditional dry decks and provide a convenient way to access the hull for maintenance or repair work. However, slipway dry decks have limitations in terms of the size and weight of the vessels they can handle. Larger ships may require a traditional dry dock or a floating dry dock for servicing. According to Solus regulations, all merchant ships must undergo an intermediate survey within 36 months and a comprehensive study of the hull in a dry dock twice within five years. Maintenance of the ship's hull, propeller, rudder, and other submerged components, often unavailable to crew members at sea, is included. An annual inspection of the ship's bottom is required for passenger ships. The maximum intervals between these inspections should be three years. Ships are seemingly indestructible, but their massive sizes, powerful machinery, and at most importance in keeping the world's trade alive and well. But the truth is, even the most upgraded, sleekest ships need tender loving care in a process called dry docking. Every machine needs regular maintenance, repairs, and upkeep to operate efficiently. The procedure used for routinely maintaining and repairing ships, boats, and other watercraft is called dry docking. Ship repairs using dry docking have been done for many years. It is a process for building, maintaining, and repairing ships in an area called the lock. On land, we come to auto repair centers for the maintenance and servicing of our vehicles. The same goes for ships, but at sea. A lock can be compared to a ship maintenance garage. The lock typically aligns the shop, so it is easier to maneuver and drain seawater from the vessel. The primary function of a dry dock is to perform efficient maintenance and repairs on parts that are constantly in contact with marine water but are hidden from view unless the water is flushed out. This is frequently true if the ship has experienced a collision, has previously been grounded or has been subjected to subpar maintenance procedures. Inspection is also done during dry docking if the ship is to be sold. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And hit the notification bell for more videos.